Hello in the world. Thank you for your interest in sailing dreams, wind-operated sailboats. My name is Lil Vampy Destiny. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me in game at any time. This is going to be a very short video because I'm very limited on time on uh, this recorder. Before we go anywhere, let's look at the boat a bit. It's mostly sculpted. Looks very good, very nice, very nice, uh, elegant look to it. If you the cell is uh, animated to operate it, go to into the setup, and you can have it sell up, sell reef, sell down, whatever. Uh, be, since we are in the menu right away, I will show you the menu. Nautical, statue, metric. Nautical, of course, is for is my favorite one. Captain is if you want anybody to use to drive the boat and also access the menu. Private, just yourself, of course. And free ride, uh, anybody can drive the boat, but they cannot access the menu. Of course, grid, personal, and all that. I'm going to leave it on grid. She does cross sims. Onset drop or onset drop. On set dock, keep in mind she crosses sim. So if you're like 10 sims away and you unset and she set that unset dock, she will return to her dock even across a bunch of sims. Unset drop will just drop her where she stands where, when you get up. She will carry the passengers with her when you unset, of course, also. If you are using fixed wind, you can play with the wind direction and the wind speed. I suggest a wind speed of 11 knots and a plus or, or minus five. This is for this sailboat, the Destiny sailboat. Let's go back to the main. Full sail, like I've already shown you. Sail reef, all of these, okay. Cedar wind is the wind buoy that is somewhere around the sim right now. <laughs> I've lost track of where I am. Let me just turn her. This is going to show you how well she rides also. This is me using my camera right now, sorry about that. As you can see, she rides very nicely. The cells are animated. I'm just going to make them flap a bit for you. So you can see they do flap. If you put yourself straight in the wind, the cells will just flap, okay? They do, they, they need the wind to catch. You can see down here also. The console this is your motor if you page up and down this will turn on your motor or off page up as you can see and down is the backwards put it back to, to full black to turn the motor off your heading your wind heading your speed and your apparent wind speed sorry about the hiccup she's got 14 seats these pull, these are silver balls that you will find all over the ships. There's another one here. This one does not work here behind us because you'll be sitting the rigging. And of course the one that the driver is nearly sitting on doesn't work. This is to accompany the driver. You've got two on the top right here. You've got another one right here. And two on the sides. And two on the, on the front. This is for a couple. It's not the Titanic pose. It's a very lovely pose, though. It's a cuddling pose in front of the boat. Right now, I'm not getting any speed just because I'm not paying any attention. Let's just maybe do a last thing before I I take off. This boat also, uh, before I uh, leave, I'd like to say a big thank you to Kayaker Magic from Ocean Engineering. He is the scripter behind us. Uh, I'm a sculptor, not a scripter. If you want to find my ships, of course, uh, you come look at the Sailing Dreams or look me up, Lil Vampy Destiny. Thank you again. And as you can see, here we go for the speed just before I go. As you can see, she does get speed. She's very user friendly and feels very, very real. Like, I really love the feel of this ship. And she does cross sims. I'll just cross the sim and I'll say goodbye and thank you for watching my little video.
there is going to be a slight pause as we cross the sim that's the only thing a very slight pause it's not that big and there you go see it's not really not that bad okay thank you again everyone see you in game